That's that's in my station. That's my studio. Right, right, so there. Here we go. This is her witness. Oh, and we'll be right back. That's when they went to break. Does DSN stand for the network? Okay. Those are my words, though. Oh no! Oh no! They Wow. Wow. Things you mentioned on the internet about his business. What does he do all day? Because the station is lacking in equipment, promo, and most importantly, common sense. Correct. He has no petty cash budget whatsoever. No soda machine. Got one now. Now, yeah. got one yeah, got one now. Like, like if I could, I wasn't running around investing in my future. Yeah, I got bills. Well, all, we all do, but I pay mine and still manage to make things happen. All right. That's defamation. Your claim is granted, sir, for defamation, and I'll grant you the amount he agrees that he owes. And that was $1,200, $1,271. Mm. All right. So your credibility was hurt entirely by going on the Internet. I believe you're angry about this so-called relationship. Up. You still don't understand that you didn't have a relationship? Look at her so face. I can see why you're mad. Have a good day. Judgment for the counterclaimant who was defamed. Have a good day. Check it out, though. Here's my favorite part. Check this out. I have no comments, actually. Thank you. Any comments? Nothing, right? On to the next thing. Yeah. My comment is it's okay to accept help from people, but never sleep with the help. Oh. Yeah. Crazy. Wake that Deep up, again. D. Wake the head up, D. So let, let's so let's just clear it up for the women that's in the building that's trying to understand what it is. Um, me and her did have we had a physical relationship and we had a cool ass like relationship where I guess it was like, you know, when somebody's a sneaky link, you know, y'all know what a sneaky. Now, see, this is seven years ago, so now all of this makes sense, but because now they got titles for this shit. Back then, it was just we was doing us, nobody in the front knew. We was behind the scenes and she was playing her position and she was trying to move herself, advance herself up to be closer to me. There was nobody else in the picture. So it was like no other competition for her. So there was breakfasts that was being cooked. There was, you know, let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's just. It was a lot of hanging out, her smoking weed, her daughter in the back, dudes coming over to drop off weed. It was it was real dysfunctional. It was not what y'all got it in your head that she was taking advantage of. She was going all the way out her way doing mad extra shit, doing shit. Just because she wanted things to go, which I appreciated as a person. I was like, I right, she's trying to make things pop. So it wasn't like I was just sitting back like, oh, just keep spending all your money because it wasn't a whole bunch of money. This was a Dell card that she got that she wasn't using. And she decided. OK, so, so half of those things she made, she decided that I didn't have a shopping list. I picked up bullshit like my like a mouse and all that shit. The birthday present for my, my, my grandmother came separate from that. So 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 D. So here's the thing, right? We all know, or at least have been in situations where a young lady may like us, right? And right. as a byproduct of them liking us, she's trying to showcase that, right? So she may be somewhere entrenched in these heavy emotions, but she don't know how to share them verbally, so she has shared them physically, but all of it is acts of service, which means that she's tapped in with you, right? So I, listen... I got a lot to say towards the end of it, but for the bulk of it, just 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 the idea of it, I think a lot of women do tap in and showcase how they feel by way of their actions and not so much their verbals because a lot of women don't know how to articulate how they feel, but they'll show you. So to me, I felt like she might have really thought that you guys was in a relationship, okay? However, your feelings may have been somewhere else because... You and your head thought her short, shorty was still fucking old boy. Right. Oh my god. And that's just one of them. That's just one of the dudes. We're so, not talking about the baby father and all the other dudes. So but so so, so hold on. So so hold on. That, that's my point right there. If you if if you wasn't all the way in on it, if you wasn't all the way in on it the way she she might have been in on it. And we know as, as as being niggas and dealing with different chicks, you know who's rising to certain occasions and who's and who's not. If you knew that she that you wasn't tapped in all the way there, this is the accountability part. Why didn't you hold yourself accountable and say, you know what? I'm a moonwalk out of this because I don't want to deal with the collateral damage. How would you respond to that? All right. So at, at that time, at that particular time, I didn't really, I never really dealt with that type of relationship business-wise with somebody doing something like that. Okay. And she was, 
what she was doing, like she made it mad comfortable to just be cool because I was not dating anybody else at all. So I it's not stand in front of something. If you're comfortable and you're chilling and you, you know, you're getting you you going over to lay up with somebody, you're getting breakfast in the morning. It ain't over about the, the the money shit was not like the 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 leading factor. It wasn't like she was out there buying me cars and, and tricking every weekend. This is a one time thing that she did that that stretched out over that amount of time. And that whole deal that I made with them was not to be on some sour shit because all I did was text her, like, you know what? I found this girl that I'm digging. You know what I mean? I think she's cool. I, what me and you have, understanding that we had something. Yeah. What we had, it wasn't a relationship, but it was something. We're not going to be able to do that no more. And I know I'm not the only person that's ever did that. I know I'm not the only person that's ever sure. had to cut a little, a little situation off because you found something that you want to pursue more. I was real enough. I didn't try to keep her on the side. And I'm like, so immediately when I thought I was into... My girl at the time, I was like, nah, I got to let her know. I respect her enough. All right? And then so, that's when I, immediately, the, the right the day of that is when she just started going crazy, sending me text messages. Oh, I can't believe and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but I, I kept it real what's happening? with you. Like, and I, you see what's happening, right? She took you to court. Let me, I promise you I know what I'm talking about. She took you to court because you was dealing with the new chick, right? You were dealing with the new chick and she was upset that she couldn't be the new chick and you probably didn't tap in all the way on her because you felt like she was still fucking with old boy that was her witness. You get what I'm saying? So it seems to me like 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 there was no no level of transparency in the matter of or communicating in the manner on the, in the matter of how you guys so feel. Let me do the part where you say stand in front of right. So seven years ago, seven years ago, I was just probably 39 going, on, going into going 79. I mean, 39 going into 40. So I'm just like, like really, you know, what I mean, at my at the point where I'm like, all right, this is what this is who I want to be. I'm starting to figure shit out. So when I get to this point now, where I, you know, I'm gonna keep it 100 because I'm out here moving around how I want to move. Around, and I was moving around like. I you you're not gonna line too many women up that's gonna be able to say what she said about me because I never did nothing like that with nobody else before that. I could have lost that. I could have looked really bad. Like it it could have went the other way for me. So 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 you know let's I mean? do this. Let's let's do this, right? Let's That's open, the short, you let's, still let's look open really up. Bad. Hold on, I'm sorry, hold on, me. hold on, hold on. Let's open up the floor for conversate for commentary by way of Clubhouse and Instagram and what we'll do is, I have a question I want to ask you guys, but I want to give you guys a second to, to respond to what D and I, the conversation that D and I just had. Tap in with us. Ari, you, your mic was open. Yeah, I don't understand why he's saying that he, was, he would have looked bad. Regardless of how this went, you look crazy because you're somebody that owns a business. You're a man. You're a dad. You looking real crazy in these streets. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit here and like sugarcoat nothing for you. You looking real crazy. First of all, I feel like women, most women go on TV and put shame in their own face in the middle of like um TV unless it was a series of times she probably asked you for the money back and it wasn't given. Your service is nervous. For everybody to see how dirty it is. You understand that what I'm saying? Anything. So I don't understand. That's number one. Number two, I just have to help when she tells Hold on, Ari, 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 your service is nervous. Your your service is nervous. All right, so so look, let's 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 do this. And she never, Barbara, she never asked. We never had a conversation. We never spoke after that. Hold on, so D. We never I, had a conversation. I got you. Money. I got you. I want to get it from the Giants. Tap in. How you guys feel? Somebody else pop off their mic. Um. Wow. I I, I feel a little conflicted. I I say I stand by what I said. I feel like the communication level. It was it, things were not clear. Um. On whose part but, though? Um. I kind of feel like, once again, like she thought that there was more to, than what it you was. You can't just think you're in a relationship. You got to have a conversation about that. I don't did care what you're doing physically. About that? No, we never did. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. We never had that conversation. All we had conversations was about, oh, you want to come through, smoke? You want to come through? I'm making breakfast. It was never, yo, I think you should be my man. We, I know those conversations. We never had it. So you can call her up and ask her. So what about the action that's going on with it? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no such thing see this is what this is what i got into this is why i don't do that no more because i i heard about this unwritten rule that if you have sex with somebody then y'all go together and i was like 
a word. So mm. that's that's how that equates. So because I'm a good guy, because I'm a cool dude, that means that I gotta treat you like shit for you to feel like 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 we don't go together. I can't just be who I am and we have an adult agreement. Remember, I was 40 years old. I wasn't a kid. It, it was very clear. We was in the industry together. We wasn't outside walking around holding hands. It was not that type of relationship. There was nothing like that that I can be like on Clubhouse now trying to clean up. I, I promise you. I promise you it wasn't that. I have a question. Because hold on, hold on, hold on, Ari. Let me let me get it from other people. Tap in. Shantae, I saw Bye. your mic open. I just had a question. I know that you said y'all never had a conversation about being in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. But did you ever make it known, like, this is what we're doing? I'm not, like, did you make it known that you don't see her in that way or that there's no possibility for a relationship? Was that clearly communicated? Right. So, to be honest with you, there was never a time for me to do that because I know what a, a down low we just messing with each other. The relationship feels like I've been, I've been in the music game. I know what that is. She, it's not like she asked me and I kind of like had that, you know, sometimes somebody asked me, so what are we doing? And then I, I like play around with it. We never got like that. So the, her personality was never that. So y'all, y'all assuming that she's like y'all that would ask that question. If she never did. I, I don't know if she was just happy with what was going on or she just never seen to, to, to put that into a conversation. And again, I never gave her a reason to feel like, Oh, I got to hide on the phone or be around other chicks because I was single at the time. So hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. I'm just going to call it, I'm going to call it exactly what it is. No, I don't think D look fucking crazy. I don't think he look crazy. I think this is what you get when you play with fire, right? You move around, you outside, and you acting like you single, and you can do whatever the fuck you want to do because you single. No, I'm sorry, you can't. This is a byproduct of being single. Shit gets spicy. And you got to be able to keep that same energy you was keeping yeah. when you was single. The this fuck? is what comes with it. So, no, I don't think D look crazy. I think, yeah, he got a business. I think, yeah, he probably could have communicated things better. But how many of you guys in relationships right now could communicate better? Hello? It's, a, it's, it's what happens, I right? So, I, I agree so, with you 100% so, on that, so, so, I just feel like, I just feel like when you, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys tap in. I just want to gain a general consensus of the people. And I'm seeing the comments on YouTube, on, on Clubhouse, on Instagram. And I feel like he, so what? So what he has, a, so that means because you got a business, because, you, because you're a parent, you stop living life and you stop making mistakes. No, it doesn't mean that at all. It means that Shorty got it. Both of them, I feel like there's, it, there was areas of opportunity on both sides. I feel like D being a man, he should have communicated and said whatever it is that he felt and said, right? But I feel like on her Everybody. side, hold on, D. I feel like on her side, it's so, it's so convenient to me how women got all of this... Um, um, yes. um, um, what you call that? Intuition. Wake and women got up. all of this. Um, I could feel it. I knew something wasn't right. Period. I went outside and I, 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 I inhaled and I, I went back in house because I knew it was going to be a shootout on my, but bitch, stop. What the fuck is you talking about? Hello? What we, what's the conversation we having? No. Mistakes happen. Shit happens. Go ahead, honey love. Broadway, I agree with you 100%. And I was going to say something because I heard the last couple of females, you know, saying, well, did you say this or did you do that? I don't look, I don't think he looks crazy at all. This is another, what, situation where another, a woman, this is another situation where a woman has, what, taken a situation ship and turned it into something what she thought it was. She thought and it was. And then and when things did not turn out into her favor, like he said, she did not sh start showing her what her emotions or whatever the case may be until, until the she new girl. said, "You know what? Exactly." So just stop it. Stop. And it. now you want to take things to the extreme with what? What? Asking for money just because you put all your what feelings and all your efforts out there. If you was doing that, if she was doing that, then she should have said from the gate, like, listen, okay, you know what? I'm really feeling you and this mm -hmm. is what I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just wake it up. Wake it up. You know and that's, I'm, no straight, I'm no stranger to that because I've had that plenty of times where somebody wants to know what it is um, and what they and what we doing. So again, and, and this is not, we obviously we doing a, we, we, we bringing up something that happened, you know, seven going on eight years ago. 
But I promise you, even at the time, I felt so confident about going on TV because I know that what it was. Like, it wasn't... So, this is what y'all actually know somebody that this happened to. So, me telling y'all my side, it's still like y'all still have... Like, y'all still got this, oh, but but he could have... But he could... If I'm telling you that that happened this way, it's no way that I'm going to commit to re-bringing this back up if I didn't believe that... Of course, I'm going to look crazy. I read the comments on on, on, on And, and, and I'm going to get, get to it. that. I'm, I'm going to get to some of those comments. I, I get that because people get in their feelings about how, things that happen to them based on what they see happen to other people. That's how social media works. Okay, what I'm so, telling you is me and this girl never had no smoke ever. She, me and her was the coolest people. And the only thing that made that put the wedge in us is not her buying me nothing, not me trying to duck out on no bill or no money. It was about me being real with her, telling her that I found somebody that I want to get into a relationship well, with. See, so well, what we had is going to well, have to chill. Well, well see, D, and, 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 and this, it, this, this is the part that I give you the... Because you did that after she did that. You get what I'm saying? She that, probably, hold on, hold on. After that. So, 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 mm -hmm. so, so she probably felt like you used her. And, 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 I, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying well, that... Yeah, that well, hold okay, on, hold right. on. I'm not saying that that's a fact. I'm saying she probably felt used. And I can understand that. But anyway, I want to get it from the people. Tap in with us. I see the comments on YouTube going crazy. Angie in there. I see Lolo. I see everybody on YouTube tapping in. What up to the YouTube viewership? Um, Santana, are you, are you there? I saw you come off your mic, Queen. That woman does not feel used. I'm, I'm going to roll with D here. She feels slighted. Fuck yeah. And there's a difference. Mm. So tell, in, me, tell me more. In the, in the comment section, I put that this whole scenario is giving that nice guy, nice girl syndrome. So this is to me like the epitome. And I'm, I'm glad that it's like an example, especially flipped, because you have men yep. that do exactly what this woman has done. She we knew what it was. Up. There wasn't no need for no conversation like that. She was happy with her access mm. to to pursue what she wanted, which was him. And she got in, she got in, and they were cool. And she she was playing that role of being cool with it because it's better than being rejected Woo! and cut down, right? So she's gonna play along with it. And why I'm speaking like this is because I tried so hard to let men understand, right? They're always asked this question: why do nice guys finish last and nice guy this, nice guy that? But when Wake you look it at up. the definition of nice, right? Nice is gullible, nice is naive. And what I think people you said you said she feels she feels used, but used was what she wanted to feel. She Woo! wanted him to Hell, because as long as she was being used, she was a part of his life and she felt useful. Now, when she figured that her inn is about to be closed, she felt, but wait, all this nice things that I was doing for you was supposed to make you see me. And I and still wasn't seen. seen and I'm mad because I spent my money on you, nigga. And the rest of the public, when it's a woman, when it's flipped and it's a woman, we're quick to say, oh, but girl, you know, you didn't want that guy. So why you took his stuff? When mm. a lot of the time people want you to take their stuff, they're like pushing it in your face. Take my stuff. Use me because I like you and I want you to like me too. And so them giving you their stuff wasn't the problem. You now saying, I no longer even want your stuff because I'm moving on is the problem. And to me, that is the whole entire nice guy syndrome wrapped up into a nice gift package so people can understand it better. Hello? Wake it up. I don't think she told one lie. I don't think she told one lie. Let me read some of these comments on YouTube. Uh, Keisha Lolo, what up though? LA, LA, big LA vibes tapping in. Keisha said, uh, you don't owe none of these females no explanation. The fuck? You're single. I said that last part. Um, yeah, can I just finish one last thing, love? Let me finish this off. Go for it, Queen. If, if, if in the flip, you tell women, don't accept nothing when you know you don't really want nothing from that oh, person. Yeah. 
When you know you ain't serious about a person, don't accept those things. Mm. We're quick to tell them those things, right? Because we understand. A man will kill you over his things. A man will harm you over his things. A man will say, oh my God, like you need that rent money? Babes, you 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 low on your rent. Let me pay that for you just because he wants that access to you at the time. Now you said, well, I don't really want you to be my man like that. And he's like, that's all right. We just friends. I know that. We cool because he's playing the nice guy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I know you don't want me. It's cool. We friends. We friends. We friends. It's all good. Then when you actually move on into a man, so you don't need that person at all, actually. Now they're like, bitch, I want back my money. Remember I gave you that rent money? <laughs> <laughs> Right. I want back my money. And John Q. Public will be like, girl, you should have never taken his money. And so the advice I have to give D is the same thing. You knew from the jump you really didn't want anything serious with her because you were good just vibing with her. So the minute you started accepting her things to her, she's like, you're accepting me. And now that you are rejecting me, give me back my things. <laughs> give me back all my things. Hey, listen. Do you have relationship questions you need answered? Spicy topics? DM us at Live on Broadway Podcast. Have music, products, or an ad you want us to run? Email us at Live on Broadway Podcast. Be sure to tap, 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 tap in. Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Live on I am underscore Broadway's Instagram. Clear. <laughs>